who could have thought masks could be a political issue, but they are in America. Elections are just four months away, and guess what the Democrats and Republicans are fighting over? It's neither the economy nor the border, not even health care. America is debating masks. Face masks have become signs of political allegiance. The situation has become so bad that some food joints are offering free food to customers who do not wear masks. Trendy, cute, colorful, and sometimes even comfortable. Masks are inanimate and harmless objects, or are they? This is America! This is America! Stay in your you house! You have a right to you stay in your house! You have a right to stay in your house! You have every right to wear a you mask have a right if you to stay. want. Shut Don't down shut window. it on me! Shut down you have every window. right! Welcome to the US. Here, masks are political. Wearing them is anti-Trump. Not wearing them, well, dangerous. But not many get this. How do you explain the importance of a mask to someone who cannot differentiate between a face cover and a medical procedure? You want to call me selfish for not wearing a mask? I want to say to you, yes, all the Rachel, people calling me selfish, you're the one who's trying to yeah. force me a medical procedure so they you did. can feel more That's safe. That's the level of insanity masks have unmasked. Nelson's view is shared by thousands of other Americans, including the first among the equals. The president believes that wearing a mask is an anti-Trump statement. He even mocked Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden for wearing one. Biden can wear a mask, but he was standing uh, outside with his wife, perfect conditions, perfect weather. Six months and immense public criticism later, Trump finally donned a mask. 12th July, 2020. This day is going down in the history books. Well, I'll probably have a mask if you must know. I mean, I'll probably have a mask. I think it's a great thing to wear a mask. Great thing it is. But not all the president's men would agree. Conservative Republicans still do not think masks are a good idea. Some of their party members have stressed on the need to wear one. Medical studies have shown that wearing a face covering slows the spread of COVID-19 and it protects you and your family. The Democrats, of course, have been more vocal about the importance of masks. But when exactly did masks get caught in partisan politics? One would think that in an election year, American politicians would have more important things to do than fight over clothes with stretchy bands. Unfortunately, this simple life-saving practice has become part of the political debate that says this, if you're for Trump, you don't wear a mask, and you're against Trump, you do. It began with the anti-shutdown protests. Many demonstrators ditched the mask. When shops and services reopened, many of them said there was no need to wear one. But there were other establishments that would not let customers in unless they wore a mask. At the end of the day, both employees and customers were left extremely confused. To wear a mask, or not to wear a mask was the question. The top infectious disease expert of America, Anthony Fauci, has recommended wearing masks. The World Health Organization too says face coverings are essential, but Trump believes neither. Some of his ardent supporters have not been shy of marching to the Congress. The situation has become so bad that some eateries in the U.S. are now offering free food to customers who do not wear a mask. Here's what the U.S. needs to understand. Masks are not a political symbol. They are not the emblem of liberalism. Essential and nonpartisan are more like it. The sooner Americans realize this, the more lives they save. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One.